Well, Avi is doing pop-ups at Jerome's shop, and Leon is popping off, and Gustavo is popping people. This episode was just popping. We're going to talk about all that and more. Plus, we've got our news and gossip and special segments. It's all coming up on the Snowfall After Show. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz Hey. Hi, everybody. Hey. hey, hey. Welcome Episode back. So three. It's no fall. It continues. What's up, guys? I am your host, El Marie. Uh, Portia is out tonight, but we are holding it down for you guys. And I have my lovely co-host with me here. I will let them introduce themselves. Hey, my name is Emmanuel Wright. Hi, I'm a Daisy. So, um, like I told you guys, we have a lot coming up this episode, our news and gossip, special segments. Um, we're going to talk about everything that went down on this episode. But what were you guys' overall thoughts of this episode? Franklin's a boss now. Franklin is over here telling Ivy what, what to do, playing tricks. Man, I'm, I'm liking to see. Franklin is just becoming such a, he's like a grandpa. He's right? not even a man. He's just a wise man. Like, anytime I see him in the pocket, I'm like, oh, he's going to throw that touchdown right now. <laughs> he's like a few steps ahead of people. And it's like, uh-huh. like Ivy said, like, he's so new to the game, but you wouldn't think it. Because of how he carries himself and the way he makes his moves. Yeah. He's maturing. He is maturing. Again, I was impressed by him as well. And I loved how, I, you know, after we found out that he, you know, he pulled the switcheroo, mm-hmm. I loved how it was kind of like a shift. Like, he said, you know, if if my people found out you did it, mm-hmm. I'd kill you. A couple seasons ago, we would not have seen, yeah. or sorry, last season, oh yeah, yeah, a couple seasons ago, we did not have seen him talk to Avi like that. Yeah. Because uh-huh. Avi pulled a gun on him now. Mm-hmm. He pulling the gun. So, kudos to him. Yeah. And then also, the popping off with Wanda. I've been waiting for this. Because mm-hmm. we've been trying to get Wanda out of here. Yeah. And now she out of here. Kind of. Maybe. Kinda. We Ooh. don't know. Kind of. Because they made a mad. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> so, um, talking about Avi and everything, he pops up at Jerome's shop. Because I guess that's their little meeting place. So, clearly, he got it all back together. It's up and running again. And uh, Franklin and everybody, they're sitting down, basically having a little meeting about everything. And then Avi just pops up there. And it's like, we need to go to the bank. Franklin is like, what are you talking about? You know? So he's like, we need to go to the bank. He's trying to get Franklin to go ahead and, and move the money like Franklin came to him about. And But Franklin's a little, you know, shook him. Like, why did you just pop up here? You never come to this side of town. Like, I always come to you. You know what I mean? So why are you here? Then on top of that, Franklin's like, well, I got to go move the money. I don't just have it, like, with me. And he's like, oh, I can go with you. Franklin's like, no. Super no, suspicious. Just, yeah, like, right. I'll go. I'll be back. <laughs> that whole little, like, situation before they left, what did you think about that? Franklin knew something was up. He yeah. knew something was up. He knew something was up, but he was looking at Avi like, man, you brought me into this game. Maybe you're really trying to get me to the next level, but I don't, I don't trust you. But mm-hmm. I trust you enough to not get me killed in this situation, so yeah. I'm going to roll with you. Yeah. Yeah, and I think at this time, Franklin is privy to what's going on. He already knows that something's wrong with Avi, and he's shaking him. So at first, I know he was a little shook, like, why, why mm-hmm. are you popping up like this? But because he knows something is up, he's going to roll with the punches. And then, you know, we don't know that he's going to pull off what he pulled off at the mm-hmm. end. But I think it's because of the way Avi presented like himself yeah. so impromptu I'll come with you you know mm-hmm. that's not really obvious style or what you would think is obvious style so he was definitely privy to what was going on yeah he was kind of like mm, let me just you know what I mean like my radar is up on you right now but um we'll get back to like the whole situation once they they get to Panama and everything but let's talk about Leon um and his situation now we've kind of like you said we've been waiting for this interaction with like Leon and Wanda and feeling like we just need Wanda to go. Like, I just feel like that was, like, the ultimate betrayal. We know that she's, like, cracked out. I'm just going to use that term because that's what it is that's right what now. That's what they would say, you know? <laughs> as she lives. Right? As Not she as she lives. As she soul. Everything. Oh, as she. As she. She's like, yo, as she. Ashy soul. Bad soul. Bad to the bone. She ain't going nowhere good. I have never heard yeah. Ashy Soul in my life. In my life. I'm using that seen one it. now. I looked one. into her eyes. That's an Ashy Soul. Oh, that's man. good acting at the end of the day, but that's an Ashy Soul right yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> but we see, but but Leon comes into place. He sees her. She's cause she's based, she's just doing everything now. She's cracked out. She's turning mm-hmm. tricks. She is just doing everything and Leon finally sees that because he sees her again for like the first time and he flips out and he was going there to give man boy the product do you, how do you guys think or like what do you feel about that should he have like kept his cool even if he kind of went off Leon. should he have still given the product to man boy Leon is tripping man leave so her in the past like do you see her like what about her makes you mad that she's no longer with you get yeah. over that man like you got money now you got a crew now you living in L.A. I know they got some other yeah. shorties out there. Just let her go. Yeah. I can see him feeling a little bit of a way and getting yeah. upset, but it's like 
you can't leave the the business out of it. Like, don't mix your feelings with the business. You know what I mean? You get upset, have a little bit of a pop off. Maybe you know, toss the bags at them. Like here, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But like, not to not give it to that's messing up the money. But you know what? I thought that too, and then I thought about it. Should he trust Man Boy? Now you found out how he got the recipe, how he got the routes. I know Leon acted in emotion, but really it shows like, okay, this guy can't be trusted because behind our back this whole entire time, he had Wanda, you know, like a little mole. Mm -hmm. So, but if it was done in a different way, like, you know what, I'll be back. Go and tell the crew what happened. And we would have looked at this different, like, oh, that he found true. out the secret. Mm -hmm. Now let's make a move. But he was crying. That's the reason why he didn't do it. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, this is my girl. She, yeah. Louis I hit it first. Up. Right. <laughs> Louis had to pop up, pop up. And you know what? Louis showed a little bit of grit yeah, here. Yeah. She did. She, she's back now, officially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She had her moment. And now Louis is back. So. Yeah, because she got she got everybody right. Because I like how I got nervous though when she called Peaches in because I was like, oh, what are you guys gonna yeah, go do? Yeah. You know what I mean? That Peaches man... is always doing. He killing people. Listen, <laughs> 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 on site too. It's like no words. Boom, you right. out of here. So I got a little bit nervous thinking about what do, what were they gonna do? But um, yeah, like Louis just steps up and it's just like puts you know like him in his place. Like you got to get rid of her, you know. And then even telling Wanda like to her face. Mm -hmm. We should have killed you when we had the mm -hmm. chance. I was like, oh, okay. And that was the first time I saw Wanda in the light. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> She's just not in good shape. Oh, you, you, you said know she, she that. got an ashy soul. She, she got an ashy soul. You could tell. I didn't know how bad it was. She's doing tricks in the kitchen. Yeah. Maybe she can everybody. find herself yeah. now. She's out the house. No. No. Is she gone? No. Is she still gone? Yeah, she off gone. that. <laughs> Okay. Mm -mm. And, and she got an ashy mouth. You know what? Yeah. What you gonna do? And with I'm her nervous ashy mouth? now. Now she's upset because she got kicked out. <laughs> she of can't everywhere. even get better clientele. It'd be one thing if she still looked good, but <laughs> now her clientele gotta be other crackheads. Like it's but all you know what? <laughs> a point to that. A more serious point to that. They kept her around because they gave her. He gave. She gave them the recipe. Gave them the routes, but. They just kept her around because she was turning tricks for them. Like, what was her real? Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty much yeah. it. So. They need that quick A to B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one, help, one stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. One stop drop. Yeah. They need to go get checked because I feel like something's swarming around in there. I mean, she wasn't going out. She was standing in the kitchen. But you don't know what she brought in. <laughs> what you mean brought in? Well, for, from the people that's coming in. Oh, I got you. Yeah. They don't know about that. This is before it's all the that. 70s. Right. This is before I don't the know. Epidemic. It's the 80s. It's the 80s. Okay, this coming. is when it's happening. Yeah. It's happening, but they don't know about it. They'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are going to find it. Yeah, it, like mid 80s, early 90s. Yeah, it was, I think they know. Okay. They yeah. know about the HIV, so. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Get Ooh. checked. All right. <laughs> that's going to add another interesting layer. We'll talk about that later. Maybe that would be a prediction. Bumpy like... lip, ashy bumps. Oh, goodness. All right, let's go. Uh... <laughs> I can't. Let's um, before we move on to the next topic because I'm going to get into Teddy and Julia because that whole situation there was a bit much. But let's get a news up. Not news. <laughs> let's get a message about our sponsor. Yeah, we just want to shout out all of our viewers and those who tune in and listen to us who make AfterBuzz the ESPN of TV talk. If you're tuning in on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know how you feel about the episode. Let us know about our commentary and let us know how you feel. And if you're on iTunes, give us five stars and please keep tuning in. Tell your friends because we have a really good show. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> Oh, Portia's in the chat. Hey, boo. Hey, Portia. What's up, Portia? Stay um, safe out there. Yes. It's so, hard in these streets. It's ashy out here. It's ashy Keep out your here. soul ashyless. <laughs> Let's talk about Teddy and Julia. It's weird because, like, when he's doing his CIA stuff, like, I call him Teddy. Then when he's around Franklin and them, right. I do refer to him as Reed. It's like, it's yeah. just, it's weird. I, never, I noticed Mack. that. That's though. Teddy Mack. Right. Yeah. 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 That's my favorite character right yeah. there. He's Teddy Reed. Teddy Reed. Teddy be getting Teddy it Reed. done. Man, so and what and was that his ex or was that a new one? I'm, I'm confused. This is his ex wife mm -hmm. who said she was down ex. for the ride. Mm -hmm. So he's he's in Costa Rica with the ex wife, with the ex, getting yes. down, getting down in the lake. What's in the lake? That was my question. I was looking at it like, hey, what they got swimming around there? <sighs> that was your question. That was my thing. I was like, they, hey, they, they're disturbing Mother Nature. You know what I mean? Because I don't think they're worried I'm about over that. Over here, like, oh yeah, I'm about to make a baby because y'all yeah. are super high. A little re baby. Yeah. So they're in Costa Rica. They're hiking. I'm like, where are they going? And then they get to their destination, and I remember. She came to him about landing strips and, you know, another route to, you know... Landing strips, yeah. man. He found him you a know landing what? strip. Found him a good one, huh? He found him a new landing strip. He got lots of landing strips. My man, Teddy Mac. Anyway. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> 
That was a good one, though. <laughs> I landed you right in there. You said we, uh, we need bigger planes. We need... <laughs> You said big planes, okay, man. Plane. I like All that. Right. <laughs> what did y'all think about that whole situation, though? Like, do you think, like, so the guy that they met there, ex CIA uh, guy, and he's like part of this, like, tribe there, and he has them go through their ritual. So they had some criminals, they broke the law, and their thing is you burn them at sunset. And after you burn them, you drink this tea that's like a. Um, something to get you high they were, yeah they were lit mm -hmm. do you guys what do you guys think like you would have done that in that situation oh, yeah. huh? it's either do that stuff. or die do or die huh? i'm gonna have, I, I trust that guy it was mm -hmm. the asian I, he mm -hmm. just yeah. had that. see he had a he had a gold uh soul that was a like gold soul that was much wisdom <laughs> who is this guy is he it a was, soul <laughs> you know what i mean he was like the buddha inside of a communist killer you know <laughs> I would, right. say, <laughs> I would say I like I like that because I just want to see like what was gonna happen. I thought it was gonna be one of those things where you um you drink it and you like tell the truth or whatever. Mm -hmm. So maybe he wanted to know like uh you know what's the real reason for being there. But it was even better because we saw them get down. Mm -hmm. We saw them have dreams about sharks and stuff. Yeah. And um, I kind of wanted to know why he wanted to know his dream. Maybe it shows him the purity of his, mm -hmm. his soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you going to give him the place where it claims land or not? Because I'm not yeah. seeing landing strip around him no more. <laughs> landing strip. I'll say it for you. Just put up a finger. I got you. <laughs> Are they going to allow him to land the planes there or not? On what? The landing strip? Yeah. Oh, man. Right. I mean, they got to get a bigger plane first, though. So we'll be gone. <laughs> so... <laughs> With that, yeah. So, but anyway, I guess it's like they have to see. He needed to see if he could trust them. Yes. And uh, yeah, I guess he could. Okay. And so now they're in a place of trusting themselves, I guess, or each other. But the guy, like you said, he has like this gold soul. He can see things. He kind of called out the situation mm -hmm. of the relationship between the two of him, Teddy and Julia. Like, she doesn't really want what you want. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's not gonna work again. So don't think this little like you were just off. You were tripping. You that know was what I mean? Great you were going off a ride. Yeah. So just. It, take this experience and then like get back to what you guys are supposed mm -hmm. to be doing you know what I mean because this isn't gonna work between the two of you he gave him a little gem I like that yeah. and he it. took it you know you saw Teddy's face yeah, he she was, was like, like yeah you right you man right. Max you right, you right. <laughs> this really ain't gonna work he walks like we, we probably not gonna see him again he just walked off into the sunset yeah I got you player. <laughs> <laughs> the strip is yours be good <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> you are hilarious they call him rain in the face no I'm playing <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and move on to finally Avi and Franklin actually going, you know, overseas to get this bank uh, deposit set up or, or account set up. And Avi is still acting weird. He's still kind of like tripping. And it's like they get there and it's like, oh, the guy's not available. But Franklin checked him real quick. Oh, you said it was always open. You know what I mean? When we were in the States, it was time to go now. It's always open. Like, so what's up? So he's still feeling like. He's feeling a little bit weird about him. Mm -hmm. And uh, while they're there, Franklin has his eyes on this Costa Rica. Uh, nope, they're in Panama. This Panamanian girl. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, Cute. okay, Franklin. I said, you cheating. Huh? I felt the way about it, too. How? I felt the way. I felt the way. Huh? He, was, he was cheating what? on cop daughter shorty. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. I mean, they're not official, you... but still, it made me feel a way. Like, you have away. your heart set on oh, this girl. Geez, He's trying to get though. international Did you pants. see her? She, man, she was a businesswoman. She had her own flower business. She was she down was for the cute. get down. She wasn't like... So that's what happens oh because gosh. they're cute. You just step out on your old lady. What see how old you lady? see how dudes do. What? See how men do. Did it work? See. Did it and work? The thing about it, last episode we were talking about let that man go. Remember, we had mm -hmm. a moment. I also mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Now we bring I, a man on the panel. I think she inspired him. Oh, that's I what I think it was. she did. Oh, okay. No, when they when they got the separate table, mm -hmm. I thought when they sat down, we didn't get to see them sit down. Oh, okay. So you think she just the fact she was just like, you know what, those people aren't good. You should really think about what's going on here. I think they had that discussion. I think she brought it up too, just to like push them. Like, look, <laughs> I think I think your friend's up to no good. Let me help you out. We'll put some in the duffel bags. I mean, sure, she didn't come up with the whole plan. Yeah, no. She just didn't want to sit with them. She wanted <laughs> yeah, to sit with she him. She wanted to sit with him. That's to it. Get along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, mm -hmm. I looked into her eyes. Man, she 
I don't want to hear about her. He's soul. always looking into so somebody's they just, eyes. Franklin, a flower. It was a flower. Franklin song. wanted to smash. That's what happened. And then he saw an opportunity there. Like I can use her mm-hmm. to see what's up with Ivy. Just to you know play this situation to get him to actually tell me what's going on. Mm-hmm. He wasn't being truthful. And it's like I'm not gonna like leave my money with you. Like we have a bond, but like it ain't that tight. <laughs> right, right. right. And I've seen you in the past. Right. I don't want to trust you like that. How um, much? One point five? What about yeah. a million? Right. <laughs> like six <laughs> percent a week. <laughs> I was, I was like, oh, okay, Franklin is not Not playing. Bank of Sing. I was like, a mm, week. step up, boss up. Hmm. That's really Bloody. bossed up. He really did boss up. That plot was so good, though, because I was fooled. Everyone was fooled. Mm-hmm. I really thought, I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Yes, Franklin, take it into your own hands. But I'm thinking, you don't know Panama. Someone else brought you here. Like, mm-hmm. how do you know? And then the whole time when Avi started freaking out, I thought it's because, like, he put it in the wrong bank, and maybe that bank was going to, like, you mm-hmm. know, snake him. But it's because Avi was yeah. trying to steal money. No, once he started freaking out, I knew it was like ah, uh, he it was something Avi wanted to do with that money mm-hmm. when he started freaking out. What was Avi out, gonna but... do? How was how was he gonna do it? So, so he was ba- gonna. Yeah, go oh, ahead. sorry. I was just. I think he was gonna take the money and be like, I'll deposit it for you. Or he has people here mm-hmm. that would have took the money to deposit it, but really would have gave it back to him. Yeah. That's so cool. he could use it mm-hmm. and try to put it back before Franklin would even know. Yeah, because that's what he was saying. Because he was he's being blackmailed yeah. by the Israeli government, and so he's like, he was just gonna have it put. So it's like you said, it's those pe- his people. He knows them. So here, put this money here. I'll have access to it too because I know them. I'll take it, do what I need to do, and I'll put it back before Franklin even notices. Mm-hmm. You know, that was his whole thing. So when Franklin was like, "Oh, I'll put it in another bank," he's like, "Yo, yeah, I mean, I that's what banks money. do anyway. You know, I mean, that's really what banks do to your money. They use it, sure. they get interest on it, they pay you a little bit. Not to pay gun rules. Are you? Hey, hey, I, hey, I, hey, I don't you know, know what's going like, on. Like we, like know. somebody put on social media. You know, we heard about the the Chase situation, and we ain't heard about it since. Fair point. Time. That's true. Fair point. The one prison time. system. I bet you they invest. <laughs> Listen, Fair come point. on. So, I mean, this show right here is showing us how you know what I mean, crooked and, and and things that the government can be and the things that they use, the sources that they use for you know their benefit. So, uh, I think it could happen. But yeah, but like you said though, that made me a little bit nervous at first when Franklin said he put it into another bank because mm-hmm. I did believe him with that that he put it into another bank and I'm like, oh. But you don't know these people. Like, right. say, you know what I mean? Like, they could take your money, steal your money, or whatever. And you don't know this girl. Like, you don't know how they move if they could have known Avi was coming. You know what I'm saying? And there's, there's always that girl that's plotting and, you know, right. walks around real cute to kind of set yes. the guy up. And at first, I thought she was like an op and she was going to get Franklin set up. Mm-hmm. Oh. I did. Because that's typically how it happens, though. Yeah. Super pretty oh. girl just shows up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then skins you. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd you be horrible. That? Nah. I know you didn't think that. Flower soul. Like, that was a flower. That was a sweet, a sweet uh, succubus. Okay, Not sorry. succubus. <laughs> is that a is that a flower? It's a cactus, maybe. Oh man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, Franklin handled his business, and uh, somebody else handled their business too. Uh, Lucia's mom. Mm-hmm. So uh, the mom and Gustavo are together. They go across the border. They're supposed to be meeting up with Reed. Their uh, car breaks down, and what's the name? Gustavo wakes up in the morning, and the mom is gone. So, and they're already in Mexico, so he's probably like, what? like, where does she go? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then she comes back with a police officer, like, gun to his head. We need your car, sir. We need to use this. Gangsta mama. What did y'all? I, I really, I thought she had left too. Like, the way that Gustavo was looking, like, I thought she kind of left and was like, I don't need him. I thought she took the bricks and was out. What were you guys thinking in that scene? I think it just shows how much Gustavo's so out of the loop. I mean, what a fall from grace. We said this a lot of times. It's just like, you know, it just seemed like anybody could pull the strings for him. Like, the mom is is running this. Mm-hmm. I don't think we would ever have seen that. It would have been him. You know, he just, I'm not going to say he lost his m- manhood. He did not. He just lost his gangsta charm, mm-hmm. okay. you know? So, gangsta yeah. charm. And the gangsta mama picked it up, you know? Yeah. I don't think he ever really had it. No. No. He was just no. tall. No, he's just he a big fella, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So he can talk with his hands, but mentally he, he's always been kinda hesitant. That's true. What type he of soul was always does he like have? behind Lucille? Uh, a lost soul. Mm, that's it's a lost true. soul. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's facts so. though. Okay. If we think about Gustavo, that is facts. Lost soul. But um yeah, so they so they get up and running. And then they go to the to the meeting place where they're supposed to meet Reed. And then we see, I forget her name, but we see the DEA girl. Yes. Mm-hmm. We don't call her DEA girl because I don't her respect name. her. Yeah, I don't either. Mm-hmm. And I don't like that. I was like, really? Yeah. Reed? 
No, you're Teddy now, because that, that looks a little suspect. <laughs> you're going to be Teddy now. You're like, going to bring him back to his real name. Gonna not, right. She could have been lying, though, too. She, she could have been lying. She could have been, like, she could have intercepted some type of, you know, mm-hmm. code or whatever, figured it out, and, you know, popped up. Like, nah, we going to That's, we that's true, work. too. I think but she Teddy is in. working with her. So it could, it could, if it's 50 50, it can go either way. Could but we know she's, she's kind of doing something like a little duplicit. Like she's playing both sides. Mm-hmm. So we don't even know what she's doing. Like she could have been telling the truth and could have been playing a game at that point. So, yeah. Yeah. I will say she did look better in this season. I, I, was, I looked, I was like, oh, that's, that's old girl. She As been, opposed to like the, the last season. I mean, like, how did she look last season? Was she like not thick or something? Nah, she just looked a little bit too, uh, too uptight. You know, like we see her, she's oh, smiling. Oh, she's wearing okay. She's okay. welcome in. Okay. She's just like, hey, uh, how's it going? Relaxed. I thought you said she got a makeover she or got, something. No, no, <laughs> no she, got, like she had a woo saw on, you know? Woo-saw. She, okay. Yeah. Cool. On the woo saw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I like that you picked that up. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. I like um, her energy. <laughs> so, <laughs> listen, I don't. Men are something else. But anyway, um, I can't stand her energy. She's definitely playing both sides. She's right. going to flip. You know what I mean? Like bad energy. Super bad energy. Um, <laughs> I like you're just her. like, I don't care. She's, <laughs> like, right? she's good in my book. For now, we'll see. For now, you don't but no, but seriously, do you feel like she's kinda like might flip A on snake? Teddy and yeah. And still like go back to her DEA roots and, and, and I think I think she's in it. At the end of the day, she's in it for herself. So if she gets put in a situation in which the DEA isn't the best for her future, she's going to go the other route. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's in it for herself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so Gustavo was shaking up seeing her. And we see him shoot someone. We can assume that it was her. But we don't know because we didn't see him shoot her. Yeah. yeah. I don't, so like, I we don't, don't know if it's... maybe if someone else was there, we it's like, was it her or... It could also be like him thinking about what he's going to do. Like, it's like him in a moment, like, yo, I could really just pop her. Mm-hmm. And then he, it cuts back to him just like, oh, let me go grab the tomatoes real quick. Tomatoes. My lost soul or something. <laughs> hey, move this box. All right, my bad. I thought he walked oh, past gaming. her. Like, maybe she was at the door. Because he was walking in on a mission. Was she running from him? Like, I feel like he was no, 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 attacking she somebody walked, else. She was she just walking ahead back. of him. She was walking Oh, back. yeah. Okay. So I don't know, but it's, I mean, great way to end that scene, to end this episode, just yeah. like, boom, and then, like, it cuts out, so yeah. we didn't, and we didn't catch the preview for next week, this week, so we really are sitting here like, I don't know, what's You know, I happen? like that, though, because it gives us really honest predictions. Yeah, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. then we don't know anything that's going on. Right. It's like, this we did not true. catch that one. So we'll have to see, like, if it's her or not, or if somebody else was there, we'll just see what that's going, what's going down there. And I want to know next week if Teddy did send her or if she was on her own mission. Yeah, because that's a good point that you brought up there. Yeah, mm. snake. <clears throat> with good, vi- with better vibes. No, let's not say good vibes. Better vibes. She's wearing her hair down. She was. She looked good. Hey. All right, let's <laughs> move into our special segments. Yeah. We will, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just love the little music we have there. So just a disclaimer. Um, so like we told you guys last week, we do a special segment where we kind of like do a little bit of a focus on a real drug lord, but we are in no way glorifying or condoning what they do, their actions and behaviors and the things that we're going to talk about when we talk about these drug lords. So just once again, we are not glorifying them, but we're going to go ahead and hit into this special segment. And Emmanuel has that for you guys. Right, Pablo was nicknamed Robin Hood. He built hospitals, he gave food to the poor, and he provided housing, he gave money to the poor, he he gave out food. He was known as Robin Hood in his neighborhood. He was always fighting for the people. Also, he was the king of the jungle. He had a lot of nicknames, let's let's be honest. He he had over 200 animals in his home. Uh, which included elephants, ostriches, zebras, camels, and giraffes. Many of these animals were smuggled onto his drug planes. Mm-hmm. And uh, after he died, um, they moved all the animals out of his homes to the zoos, but they left four hippopotamuses. Now, those four hippopotamuses became 40 hippopotamuses, and they had a little population problem, so they had to uh, do some things to the male hippopotamuses so there wouldn't be more, if you will. That's a fun fact, you know, King of the He's Jungle. He's right. He knows his arc. What do you mean? Crazy. Yeah, every animal in the house. Two, he had two hundred. Wow. That's lit. 
Beth said, like, when you have too much money, you just don't know what to do with it. What type of ceilings can you have oh, with a giraffe in that? Oh, come on. He has a whole safari. Come it's on, not man. like yeah, in the house. Yeah, all that land. It wasn't like in land. the house. They yeah. wasn't... Come on. <laughs> you, you, you didn't think he had a mansion with a whole bunch of animals. I thought they had room and board. I don't oh, know. If I can inter- if I can interrupt for a couple minutes, like mm-hmm. a couple seconds right now, he actually had so many properties. One of them notable called uh, Hacienda Nopales, which translates to um, you know uh, mansion of Naples. So he named it after uh, this place in Naples, Italy. This place was actually seven thousand acres big. Mm. So in this uh, one specific house, he had a soccer field, dinosaur statues, artificial lakes, a bullfighting arena, and a whole bunch of other things as well, ex- including uh, charred remains of classic card collections that were destroyed by actual rival cartels. So in addition to what he said about th- what uh, Emmanuel said about having pet hippos and everything like that, yeah, he had so many places, he can actually house all these animals, not a problem. His house stunk. I know it did. Well, he had houses. Plural, yeah, All of those acres, it's still yeah, this is like the, I hate the zoo. Like, but come on, so. not forty hippos. You know he had incense or something. Not incense. Come on, he had incense. The fact that it was outside more, maybe that helped. He had the glade of the animals. And yeah. he, you know he had zookeepers, and you know he had the zoo got zookeepers. It still smells. It stinks. <laughs> it stinks. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But he probably had like the best, the best of the, the zoo. Probably. Cheap. Come it's on, like, the zoo this is government funded. This this is, I feel like so, yeah. Pablo Escobar. so you think he had like fresh smelling acres? Uh-huh. Yep. Uh huh. I right. do. You believe in him? <laughs> At the top of Pablo's power, he was making more than four hundred and twenty million dollars a week. Boy, that's a lot of money. $24 million a week? 420. 420. 420. Most people think 420, they think of something other than money. But this man was thinking about the real green. That's what I'm talking about. Keep your eyes on the prize. Like, what? A week? 420 million a week? What what would you do with all that? Eat it. You would. Really? I'm over here. I'm like, I'm doing the yeah. wrong thing. And in thing. addition to that, <laughs> he was actually <laughs> worth uh, $25 billion in his whole entire lifetime. And. He actually offered in in the 1980s, like late 1980s, like 88 or 89, he actually offered to pay off uh, Columbia's debt, which was about $10 billion, if he would be exempt from any uh, extradition treaties or anything like that. That president was like... All right, hold on. Let me just think about this right. real quick. Hold on. But did he say all of it? Mm, all right. Somebody probably had to talk him out of that. Right. I would have been like, Listen. Did he take it? I would have took it. Uh, like, yeah. man, Pablo. So unfortunately, no, they did not take it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I would have been like, Pablo, come on down. Wait, did you say unfortunately? Right, then he, we got a plane strip right here. Pablo, land your plane. Didn't he like blow up a government <laughs> office or something? Oh, he, he did. That's probably why. He's like, like, oh, that. so he's a got, rich terrorist. You don't want to take this money and get rid of your debt? Okay. Mm-hmm. Bet. Like, it's, a, it's a cold world. <laughs> oh, man. This is, like, I didn't know all these things about him. Like, I, I knew, like, he was, like, this, you know, huge drug lord, and he had to a lot of money, but I didn't know how much was a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, this is crazy and ridiculous. So, yeah, they also, like, he named him uh, the king of cocaine. Mm-hmm. That is crazy, though, that he, like, he blew up courtrooms and, and planes, things like that. And then it's also said that, um, so, like, the U.S. troops took pictures of him, of his dead body, like, as a victory, like, he was finally caught, captured, and killed. But it's also rumored that he killed himself so that he wouldn't have to go to jail in America. Yikes. Ugh. Smart. He probably could have got out. He probably could have. So, I don't I don't believe that. I think they killed him. You think they did? Yeah, he didn't kill himself. He too much of a, too much yeah. pride for all that. Mm. I would say so, too. You know? He I probably guess. fought to the death. Probably or did. just got yeah, shot. How you gonna fight a gun? He was fight, He was shooting back. Oh, true. It yeah. was Pablo versus like sixty. That's, that's you know, true. it'd be we like one of the movies yeah. where he was dodging. <laughs> Training day. Jumping All right. behind, you know, soda, soda yeah. machines, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, drugs are bad, bitch. <laughs> drugs are bad. All this money don't do that drugs, they make. Kids. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't don't do drugs. Okay. All the money that they make, though. Anyway, business is good though. So <laughs> if you are gonna do a business, <laughs> just don't do the business of drugs. But Business is good. Look, look into his business dealings and just substitute that with like broccoli <laughs> and your bi. The vegetable or? Yeah, broccoli. Okay. Yeah, the vegetable. The <laughs> one uh, Popeye ate spinach, but broccoli would have worked as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So, um, 
Wow, a lot of interesting facts. Like I said, I didn't know a lot of this stuff about Pablo Escobar. And um, next week, we will be focusing on another one. And just once again, the disclaimer is just because of the content of the show with Snowfall. It uh, references drug dealers and all of these things. So that is kind of why we have this special segment. I'm just once again, not glorifying them. But let's don't go ahead do and it. don't do it. Don't let's move into our news and gossip. After Buzz yeah. TV News. Damson Idris was tapped to co-star alongside with Anthony Mackie in a Netflix movie titled Outside the Wire. The film is set in the future and it follows a drain, uh, sorry, a drone pilot that is sent to a military zone to secure a doomsday device before the insurgents get it. He's also going to be starring in a movie called Farming, which references the 60s immigration of Nigerians to Great Britain, where they fostered their children to white middle class families in order to create opportunities for themselves. So we see Damson getting busy in the box office and we're going to be really excited to see these productions on debut. Yes, I'm excited about that. Him and um, Anthony Mackie on the screen together. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I wonder what accent he's going to use. Like South uh, LA. <laughs> or is he going to talk like this from, from Pickney? We he don't know. He might just come know. with an accent like this. This is how the tribes of the Uawe speak. Okay. You know what? <laughs> what country is what? that? <laughs> Her face. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not heard of the Uawe? Is that in Wakanda? <laughs> well, if you were to tune into the National Negro Graphic, you would find that it is in the South Park of South Africa. South Park or Park? South Park. I heard South Park and honestly, <laughs> honestly. I don't care what accent um, Damson does. He is just like, he's a great actor. and Great actor. Woo, so soft. Keep eyes. doing your thing, man. We see can't wait to see that and, and Anthony Mackie, like I said. <laughs> All righty, so like we said earlier, we didn't really get the clip for um, next week, so our predictions can be just fresh and kind of out there. So let's go ahead and get into predictions. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. I predict that... Uh, Louie is going to take the information back that she learned that what was going on at Man Boy's place back to Franklin, and they're going to devise a plan. It just seems like Franklin is having the upper hand on people. He has, you know, he, he knows what's going on, and he's peeping stuff, so maybe he's going to see, you know what, maybe Man Boy's trying to play me. Let me get this work, and I'm going to keep giving him his work, and then I'm going to take him out, or mm -hmm. I'm going to trick him into doing something incorrect, you know, something like that. But I really want Franklin to know that Wanda did this, or maybe... Wanda's gonna go back to Franklin and be like, I'm sorry, Leon. I'm sorry, Leon. I'll help you take out Man Boy. I know we, wait, I don't know why I sound like 47. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's kind of what she sounds like. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, like, help him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, switch sides. Oh, I can see her doing that. Mm -hmm. I also think, though, because she's, like, upset, she's not really gonna, if she doesn't go to Franklin, I think she might go to Andre. She might go to the police. I feel like she might trick on Man Boy first. But that can lead him into. A she need to go to church. I'm gonna say that right now. She need to go to church Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Not Monday. Monday. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not the first week. I'll give you Monday over the second week. You need to go every day. But you know that prediction is really good because I know we have to get back to Andre, mm -hmm. and Andre has to find a way back in. Back and in. the way to get back in is through the crack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, yeah. I see what she did there. Right. The crack. Uh huh. <laughs> the cracking that tooth. All right. All them cracks. <laughs> What's your prediction, Mayo? All right. Well, prediction number one, Franklin, he's going to get more money and more problems, led by Avi, because now Avi, Avi likes to play games. Like, when, when he found out that Franklin, you know, kind of tricked him, and, like, now he's in this situation, Avi kind of smirked, like, oh, man, he got me. Mm hmm Good looking out, Franklin, but now Avi's going to be looking to Franklin more because he knows he messed up, mm -hmm. and Franklin still had his back. So now Avi's like, oh, yo, I got I got me a real friend. I can go do some crazy stuff, and mm -hmm. Franklin got my back. So I think that's going to be a problem down the road. Yeah. Definitely. Um, the the lady, uh, the flower girl, Eczema, mm -hmm. I th is that her name? Zemena. Zemena. Not like, eczema. We're just going to call her X. We're going to call her X. Call her eczema? Okay. I'm going to call her eczema. No, I'm going to call her X. Uh, I'm going to call her X. Yemena is her name. Okay, I can't. I can't pronounce it. Yemena. 
pronounce that. I'm gonna call her X. Um, <laughs> she, we gonna see her again. I think she has mm-hmm. a bigger role than just flowers and duffel bags. I hope to see her. She's very beautiful, but I just, I, I see that. I feel like she got a bigger role in this whole thing, and we will be seeing her again. And maybe she'll be at the bank doing some, working for the bank, moving money. Her and Avi, but we're gonna see her again. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. All right. Well, Good predictions, guys. Again. Yeah. Well, I guess we have to wait till next week to see if all of these unfold. Um, make sure you guys join us back here next week, same time, same place. Once again, I am your host, El Marie. You guys can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at El Marie TV. My name is Emmanuel C. Wright. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Emmanuel C. Wright. And my name is Adeze, and you can find me on Instagram at one Adeze, one A D A E Z E. See y'all next week. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 